Yo, what's up guys? This is TerraSHD and welcome to the Eternal Cylinder. I have heard a lot of things about this game. One being that it's kind of like Spore 2 because of the aesthetics and the fact that it's about evolution. What sets it apart though, I've heard, is that it has a weird kind of a story aspect to it. Apparently, the world of the Eternal Cylinder is being crushed by an Eternal Cylinder. <laughs> So apparently the game is about the fact that the cylinder is coming, it is crossing everything in its path, and you, a little two-legged creature, it's up to you to stop the cylinder from crossing the entire world. And on your way, you will evolve and uh, reach a higher potential, kind of like a spore, you know what I mean? So anyway, without further ado, let's take a quick look at this game. Once upon a time, in the age of the Eternal Cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest, nor the fastest, and they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal, and resourceful, and very, very stubborn. It is with such a trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. Alright, so here we are, the Eternal Cylinder. Now, I just started playing, and as you can see, there's a cylinder currently following me, crossing everything in its path. So apparently, we just gotta run away from it. <laughs> okay, we can jump using space. Good, good, that's always a good start. That's a great start, fantastic. Now, I don't know too much about this game, except the fact that it has some form of evolution in its game, and apparently, it reminds a lot of people about Spore. So hopefully this is a game somewhat like Spore. Okay, so I can't run any farther. Uh, what what am I supposed to do, man? Okay, it's gonna cross me, isn't it? It's gonna cross me. All right, goodbye, sweet world. Oh, stop! Oh, the great crushing thing, the great cylinder. What a quinky thing! Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps the little... Ah, oh, this guy takes such a long time speaking. They were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. Alright, is he done? No more talking? Great, fantastic. Okay, so apparently I can suck things up using uh, the mouse button. So this is this is a nice addition. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen this in Spore, which may be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, maybe Spore needs a little bit more of a suck, sucking action. Alright, so how am I supposed to get out of here? Oh wait, it's telling me that I need to choose a material in my hotbar. Let's uh, click C and apparently eat it. Or some kind of a strange orb thingy. Just when it was oh, starting look at to that. get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. Look at that. Okay, the so right there is some evolution in the game. A trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. Okay, so we got we got some evolution in the game. As you can see, I can jump a lot better now, and it also told me that I can apparently shoot water using the second mouse button. I wish there was like a first person mode so I could actually see the water. It's kind of hard to seeing it. All right, so what what am I supposed to do now? Just uh, suck and blow on some things? What what I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? Uh so I just eat everything that's in my inventory. Is that is that the goal of the game just eating? Yeah, let's try eating everything. Nope, nothing happened. Nothing happened. So when can I evolve? Is it only when I eat those little glowing uh, orb thingies? Okay, let's try going to one of those uh, big, big majiggers. The Trebum was drawn to a bright light, or perhaps to the creature next to it. Oh, that's a big creature. Look at that. Oh, so they got epics in this game. So it's just like Spore. Everything about it, except, you know, the whole thing about it. Wait, where did that big creature go? It just disappeared. What the hell, man? 
What the hell? Oh, there it is. Oh, Except for the grass huge. growing on the old one's head, they were very much alike. What? Oh, this one. This guy. Surrounded by this guy. light. The Trebum knew things it had not known before. Oh. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. I am the and chosen it knew one. That now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. I could do that. I could do that. Easy. It could have stayed here to learn many old things. And do that. But the cylinder would not Oh, come allow. on, man. Not the freaking cylinder. Why couldn't it have been a square? That thing couldn't have rolled. It's a design failure, if you ask me. It should have been a square. And you should, they run, could never roll. The inner voice said, run. Where should the I go? The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were active. I don't know. where. Am I supposed to go to those big thingies? Left shift, roll to move faster. Oh, look at that. I can roll. Can I jump while I roll? And jump. Okay, I can kind of jump. Not, not very well, though. A little bit, a little bit of a jump thingy. Quickly. Well, the, the cylinder's kind of far away. I could take my time. Or the cylinder would not be stopped. I mean, I think I can take my time. It's kind of far away. I'm just gonna go look at the nature. Oh, look at that! It's a big little, uh, what's it, what's it called? A tick. It's a big tick with big teeth. Oh my god, okay, that's scary. Not yet. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, that, that looked way more, way more appetizing. Now, is it gonna stop? Guys, it's not stopping. Hello, Tick! Move! Move! It's gonna crush you, man! I'm gonna call him Paul so it feels worse when he dies. Oh! He has a wife! That's... Oh, that's Irene. And she's gonna die, too. Aw, oh, bye, Irene and Paul. I'm sorry that had to happen to you. Is the cylinder gonna stop? Okay, uh, am I doing something wrong? Did I? The voice inside I the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. All right, cool, cool. Now, it didn't really seem like I did a lot. It was more like the tower, so... This relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others? That's, that's a depressing thought, really. I don't really know why you brought that up. I, maybe the, my Trebum doesn't want to think about it. Kind of disrespectful if you ask me. Oh, there's an egg! Our young friend had found an egg. A Trebum egg with one oh, of his it siblings up. inside. I can pick it up. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. So I'm guessing that's that little nest thingy. I wonder if I can throw it there like that. Can the, the, the land? No? Okay, hold up. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm actually stuck. Are you serious? Okay, okay, I got out. I got out. I got out. I thought that was the that was it for our gameplay. All right, I'm gonna see if I can throw it. Oh, did I? Did I? Oh my God! I actually did it. Oh, that was that was a pro move, if you ask me. Now, am I done? I did it. I did it. Enter the name Goku. No, this should be what should be uh, the the name of this guy. You know, let's uh, let's honor Paul and his wife and call him. Uh, yeah, let's call him Paul. The next one can uh, be called Irene. Why not? All right, welcome, Paul. Good to have you back, buddy. Now, what are we supposed to do? I'm very confused as to... And why is the music so, so loud? Let's see, music. Uh, there it is. Let's just decrease that little, little guy. It seems like it's still loud. Did it not save? No, it didn't save. Great, fantastic. Right, because you're supposed to click apply. Great. Fantastic. Now I look like an idiot. Continue. Alright, now where should we go? Paul, you got any ideas? You got any ideas, Paul? I have no idea where we're supposed to go. Let's just, uh... Should we just go towards the next pillar? No, wait. They're way over there and there seems to be a force field kind of keeping us from going there. So let's just, uh... Let's just keep on rolling. I mean, I gotta say, if Spore looked like this, man, that would be so amazing. I mean, can you just imagine... If you would mix Spore, this game, the Eternal Cylinder, and No Man's Sky, can you imagine the possibility? It would be the most amazing game ever. I, I really hope that in the next 10 years, some developer will make a game that combines this game, No Man's Sky, and Spore together. So you have the whole open, uh, open, uh, what's it called, open world 
thingy of No Man's Sky with the evolution and creativity aspects of Spore and then the graphic style of this game. I mean that would be amazing and even the story would be amazing if you would somehow incorporate this story about the eternal, uh, maybe not about an eternal cylinder, but at least the, the cinematic feel that this game gives, that would be amazing in, in a Spore uh, sequel. Okay, that was kind of a rant. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh, is this a new? Wait, what happened to my? Okay, there he is. Hello, Paul. Is this? Is this Finding another guy? Another oh, he's dead. Don't look, Paul. Joy. Don't look at him. But this new friend was not. No, well. he seems kind of dead. <laughs> to be honest. Deep inside the memories it had inherited, oh, can the I bring him back to life? The answer to recover. Its friend needed a very oh, Barney the dinosaur, which appeared wow. as glittering clusters of crystal dust. It doesn't look that well these days. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trebum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago. Okay, man, this guy takes such a... Wait, is that dinosaur playing a harmonic? What, what was that? What? Wait, what? Is that his mouth way down there? Did you please tell me you saw that? His neck opened up and there's a tree on his back. That's illegal, man. That's got to be that's got to be illegal. Now, how do we revive this guy? Okay, uh Okay, it's probably something to do with these diamonds. Can I do it now? No. Okay, so there's a little bit more diamonds over here. Uh I wasn't really listening to the guy speaking, so I have no idea if he actually told me what to do or not. So, uh, apologize apologies if he did and uh I'm sorry that I'm an idiot. Alright, let's see if we can wake him up now. Hello, buddy? Oh, he woke up! Okay, I, I was just kidding. I was totally listening to the guy before. I knew exactly what to do. Irene, welcome, Irene. Here's your husband, Paul. Now, wait, that wasn't Paul. That was a plant. Or did you just... Did you just eat Paul? Irene? Uh, not, not cool, man. Not cool, man. Now, seriously, where is Paul? Is he already dead? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, there's Barney. There's Barney. Hello, Barney. Oh, what what just happened? What just happened? Oh, is that a, that's an orb. That's an orb. Fantastic. Okay, so I can evolve again? Let's see if we can evolve. Uh, if I eat number two, what will happen? Oh, my God. Is that going to kill me? Wait, I didn't evolve. Why didn't I evolve? I, o I ate the orb. What happened to that guy? Did he just die? I'm a little bit of, of afraid of going too close to that Barney over there. So I'm just not going to. Oh! This door had been built for Trebum. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made. Guy, you kinda got. Okay, you kinda gotta speak a little bit faster because that Barney creature is coming closer. I think it was gonna eat us. Yeah, so let's uh, let's just get out of there. The Elder Cave. Ooh, okay, that was kind of like Skyrim. Fantastic. Uh, Q, hold or tab to switch Trebum. Tre Trebum, Trebum. Okay, so now I'm Paul. Can I switch the name of? Ooh, more diamonds. Can I switch the name of the uh, of the original Trebum? Because uh, what's what's his name? Hold on, Q. Grob. My name is Grob. Really, you couldn't find a better automatic uh, generated name than Grob. My name is Grob. Okay, interact with this uh, square thingy. Is that my next evolution? Am I gonna be a square? Tell me, am I gonna be a square? I just, I was just talking about Somehow how squares this can't roll. Ancient statue transferred knowledge to the Trevor. Oh, that looks disgusting. Organic cube, a rare organic growth found <laughs> found near certain ancient Trebum structures, most likely artificial in origin. That's nasty. <laughs> That's just a meat cube in the middle of nah. Why did you pick that up? Why did you pick that up? And a tooth? You brought up an organic cube and a tooth. Uh, that's nasty, bro. That's nasty. Okay, well, you did you did a thing, though. You did it a was thing. It's fantastic. A memory had been stored inside it, memory waiting for someone to absorb a cube it. of a meat cube. And as soon as this knowledge had entered their minds, the Trebum realized 
that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this trebum made of stone? That's a good question, man. I gotta be honest, I wasn't listening. I just heard the last little bit of it. All right, so I'm guessing if I eat this, I become a square. Uh, can I use someone else to eat it? Maybe Paul or uh, Irene? Nope, it seems like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. If I change to Paul, why can't I play as Irene? So if I change to Paul and get another one of these cubes... Oh, wait, he has the full inventory. Let me just eat a little bit. There you go, Paul. Now, if I suck in that little cube thingy, can I get Paul to evolve instead? Because I don't know if I will lose the uh, jumpy uh, legs, so I, I kind of want to just give it to Paul instead. Cuboid body allows Trebum to enter special openings in certain sacred places and unlock ancient mechanisms. Alright, fantastic. Is it is it this square? Is it <laughs> Might it be this very obvious square in the wall? It is. Wow, what a quinky thing. Oh, you're nasty. Nah, I don't want to go there. That guy creeps me out. I don't want to go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Oh, that's depressing. He's just been sitting in here the, this entire time. Man, Grandpa hasn't been the same since we installed cable TV, man. He's just been watching that screen for the entire 73 years of his life. Inside the cave, the Trebum found a living elder. Living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. It said, you are young, so you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We, Trebam, are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities. Abilities passed on to all future Trebam. But this power is being taken away. Beware the servants of the Cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity. And they have the power to rob you of your abilities. But if you persevere, one day you will find a way to protect yourselves from their evil light. Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper in this time of struggles. What a nice man. What a nice man. Again, I'm sorry, but I forgot to listen. <laughs> Uh, I always decide to just be quiet while he talks so that we can just listen to him. Then I forget that I also need to listen. Uh, <laughs> so I have no idea what he just said. But it was something about uh, it was a thing with a, like the a cave. car with a human hand. the elder had urged them to go forward. Go forward. Suddenly okay. Suddenly they felt the weight of their many tasks. Wait, this guy over here. To find their Trebum sibling. Oh! To restore the powers Enter their name. people had lost. Let's see, what it all seem Guy, can you please stop talking? Daunting. Okay, but even oh my when God, they stop. are afraid, Trebum are stubborn. You're stubborn! Shut up! Enter Trebum's name. Uh, what should his name be? Uh, we got Paul, we got Irene. Uh, let's give them, uh, let's give them a little son. Um... Lars. That's her dot. There's their daughter. Actually, that's there's this their daughter Lars. Come on, Lars, Paul, and, and Bentley, Irene. What what was it? I forgot. I forgot what their name was. So where are we supposed to go? Just forward. Wait, this guy can't jump. Let's see. Let's use. Let's use. What was it? Grop. Grop. Yeah. Let's use Grop. That, that he can at least jump. Awakening the cylinder, exiting the blue energy dome that radiates from the tower. You activated. You activated will awake what? From the tower you activated will awaken the eternal cylinder. Warning: Not all towers have the same radius of protection. Same, uh, some may be weaker. All right. Okay. So uh, that's ominous. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I, like usually, I do not understand. Now, can I walk out of the dome? The cylinder I could. resumed its. Discussion. Oh, that's not good. Why did you tell Nothing me to leave? Could stop it forever. Well, maybe it would have been stopped forever if I wouldn't leave they the freaking to, to safety mm. to find another tower to protect them quickly. Wait, so pretty much everything that happens after this point is because of me. Because if I would have not left the force field, then the cylinder would never have resumed, like 
I could have just stayed there, saved the whole world by just sacrificing a little mobility. I could have just made a home right there with Paul, Irene, and Lars. But no, I had to go across the wall. Don't go across the wall, but I want to cross the wall. And you killed the freaking universe. Great job, Grob. Great freaking job. Okay, so now I gotta go to the next little uh, little thingy. Cylinder? No, that's not a cylinder. What, that, what, what is that? A tower? Thingy? Monument. Let's call it a monument. It sounds way cooler than a, than a tower. And I'm just supposed to wait until that cylinder comes. Wait, 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 hello, hello. <laughs> that, that person is gonna die. Why isn't he following us? What, is that, is that Lars? Lars, come on, man. Come, just, just come on. Can I? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Lars is, di Lars is gonna die. That, we just killed Lars. Lars? Lars? I think I can hear him. Lars? Oh my god, Paul, Irene, look away, look away. <laughs> oh my god, Lars, are you there, buddy? Yeah, he's, she's dead. I forgot if it was a female or a male. Doesn't matter, it's it's dead, it's very dead. It doesn't have any gender now, it's all smooshed. It's just, is jam a gender? No, I don't think so, it's it's a jam. That's, that's, that's depressing. Anyway, guys, so... <laughs> This has been the Eternal Cylinder. I just wanted to give it a quick little gameplay walkthrough just to see what it was all about. Hold up. Points of interest. What's for the beams of light that come uh, from the activated towers? They will point you to objectives or areas of interest. All right. Fantastic. Good to know. Now, if you guys liked this game and liked Never this video... Oh my god! Why is he talking during my outro? Had been in the beginning. Yes. But the voice oh. and their memories comforted them. It was only natural to be confused, it said. Not confused, I'm irritated. They had been born into a strange, broken world, cut off from the history of their ancestors. Everyone was a little lost oh, these days. Shut up, man. What mattered was to keep going, to keep looking for answers, to keep carrying the light they held within them. The light that stopped the cylinder. All right, you done? Good, fantastic. Anyway, like I was saying, if you liked this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let me know if you would like an episode 2 of this game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, guys.